Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. On second down, a run with Hall. Five yards gets him back near the original line of scrimmage as they'll be left with a third and long. The vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge game, so he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Now backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. In trouble, and he's taken down. T.J. Watt in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. On fourth down, here's the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt for the Jets. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And partner, I know so far, I mean, we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. But you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right? Where these teams are locked in and going at it. No points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. Here's third and nine. Now it's Wilson. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Jermaine Johnson able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And the Jets will have a short field to work with as they take over first and 10. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he's got this down to the 35. 53 yards rushing for him now. He's carried the ball just five times. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, right back to Hall. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It's a pickup of 12, second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far on this drive. This offense on the march. Here we go now on first and goal. This is Wilson on the jet sweep. No bottle, no fumble. It's out, it's loose. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. For that play, it looked like trouble from the very beginning, and it wound up being even bigger trouble than they anticipated. Yeah, and instead of cutting his losses on the play, I think what happens here is receivers get so excited about this play call with the chance to run with it, 
And they try to really make it work no matter what. He just needed to cover up on that one, but he didn't, and they lost possession. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the nine-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Third and eight. Now it's Wilson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's good play. And he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to boot it away. And we'll see what he can do on the return. It'll be a net of 39, 41-yard punt, two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And New York set to take the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, They've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. Here's second and ten. Here's Rodgers. Oh, he went that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes with a big third down coming up. He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. To throw is Rodgers. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. The Steeler offense set to regain possession. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Jermaine Johnson, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now Wilson back into his end zone. The throw right side here going to be incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rip, and they get off the field. On third down, here's Harris. 
And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the ten. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Here's Cameron Johnston now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He'll take it a few steps in front of the 50. It'll be a 39-yard punt four on the return, and there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. A final shot before half for Rodgers. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And 